Ghana played host to the WSB for the first time in season six, and it was welcome home for the Domadores for the first time in the new season. They'd won two of their first three away matches, beating Turkey and China before a stumbling block away in Ukraine, courtesy of two split decision defeats. The Turkey conquerors were in town. They lost 5-0 at home to Cuba and were considered up against it for this one. Cuba welcomed the debutant in Javier Ibanez and indeed second time up in the WSB, 24-year-old Santiago Amador got things underway at light flyweight. He was up against the debutant Togahan Ozturk who made an appearance in place of Hamza Kartel who was pulled out just a few days previously. Amador with the hand speed and with the technique and gradually found his way into this contest and was simply too much for the new boy, Ozturk. Amador had won in China by split decision. In his first outing in the WSB, he was much more comfortable winning every single round on the scorecards convincingly, and Cuba led 1-0. Next up, it was... Nuraten Ovat, who'd lost his first WSB encounter on points against the Ukrainian. And he was up against the new boy, the debutant, Javier Ibanez, a world championship and Olympic gold medalist in a fabulous 2014. And with the likes of Robert C. Ramirez and Andy Cruz on the bench, Ibanez made light of the opportunity. A right hand forcing an eight count in the third round and that would put Ovat on the back foot. In the end, the corner uh, pulled him out. The referee had seen enough. He accepted that, and Ibanez marked his debut with a sparkling TKO round three win. 2-0 then to Cuba. They were well on their way to another win. And such is the luxury of talent that the Domodoros have. They could welcome back 26-year-old Yasniel Toledo, an Olympic bronze medalist, indeed a double silver medalist in the World Championships. And at light welter, he is a handful. The southpaw simply too much for Jakob Schenner. And Schenner walking on to many left uppercuts, which was the punch of the night for Toledo and uh, the shadow was sparkling. And despite his sturdiness and toughness, Chanel went down to the uppercut in the third round and it looked as though another stoppage might be on the cards. Chanel dug deep, showed resilience, and somehow he lasted it out. Once again, every round on the scorecards went to Toledo, his first WSB win of this season, and it was 3-0 to Cuba. On to the middleweights and 75 kilograms. Evren Tibikoglu had won one of his two bouts in season six so far up against the reigning world champion, Arlen Lopez, one of the stars of world boxing right now. And Lopez was simply too good and too strong. And the minute Tibikoglu opened up, he was punished. Big left hand forcing him onto the canvas and he couldn't beat the count. Lopez had knocked out Mingan Zhao in the third round in China in his first outing in season six, and he made it two knockouts in two bouts, and Cuba were rampant. Lopez winning again, the world champion sparkling, and Cuba led 4-0. Well, the two wins so far in season six had come courtesy of 5-0 scorelines against Turkey and China. In fact, last season they recorded eight 5-0 wins in 14 group matches. It was up to Frank Sanchez to beat Seden Kayser to make that scoreline once again. The first two rounds were scrappy. Kayser had a puncher's chance. He'd knocked out his previous two opponents. But as the bout progressed, it was Sanchez whose boxing took over. He controlled the contest for the remainder of it. And in the end, having beaten China on his WSB debut, he beat Kayser to make it two out of two. 
5-0 then the scoreline once again for the Cuba Domadores. They're vying for top spot with the Ukraine in Group A.